Charles and I, we were very, very close to each other, the closest we've ever, ever been and ever will have been. Total darkness. I can't remember much. I blotted it out. It was such pain. This has been a quite a difficult pregnancy. I hadn't been very well throughout it. So by the time William arrived, it was great relief because it was all peaceful again. Anyway, Harry appeared by miracle. Charles and I, we were very, very close to each other six weeks before Harry was born. Closest we've ever, ever been and ever will have been. And then suddenly as Harry was born, it just went bang. Our marriage, the whole thing went down the drain. was unwell with postnatal depression, which no one ever discusses when you have to read about it afterwards. And that in itself was a bit of a difficult time. You'd wake up in the morning feeling you didn't want to get out of bed, you felt misunderstood, and you're just very, very low in yourself. Well, maybe I was the first person ever to be in this family who ever had a depression or was ever openly tearful. Nobody ever helped me at all. Everybody always said when we were in the car, oh, we're on the wrong side. We want to see her, we don't want to see him. And obviously, he wasn't used to that, nor was I. He took it out on me, he was jealous. I understood the jealousy, but I couldn't explain that I didn't ask for it. I learned to be royal in one week. I was thrown into deep end, which now I prefer it that way. Is Diana's unstable and Diana's um, mentally imbalanced? And unfortunately, that seems to have stuck on and off over the years. She was very, very unhappy, very depressed. Dr. Mitchell came in every evening at six o'clock and I had to explain to him about my conversations with my husband during the day. And there weren't many conversations, it was more tears than anything else. Because on the outside, people were saying I was giving my husband a hard time, I was acting like a spoiled child. I've come to the conclusion that really it would have been far easier to have had two wives, to have covered both sides of the street and I could have walked down the middle directing the operation. I was crying out for help, but giving the wrong signals. But I was actually crying out because I wanted to get better in order to go forward and continue my duty and my role as wife, mother, Princess of Wales. I didn't like myself. I was ashamed because I couldn't cope with the pressures. No, I think we had a great deal of interest. We both liked people, both liked country life, both loved children, um, work in the cancer field, work in hospices. My husband asked for separation and I supported it. It was not your idea? No, not at all. I come from a divorced backup background and I didn't want to go into that one again. Mm -hmm.